So this question is a diagram question. More specifically, it is a graph question. So let's read the question and see what they're asking us to find here. So the question says the scatter plot shows the relationship between two variables, x and y, for data set E. A line of best fit is shown. Okay, makes sense. Data set F. Okay, so we're now we're introducing a different data set. So I'm just going to label this line as E. Right, so this is the information for data set E. Okay, so what do we know about data set F? So the question says data set F is created by multiplying the y coordinate of each data point from data set E by 3.9. So we would take every single one of these points and multiply them by 3.9, which would shift up this graph, right? It would shift up. Um, by a factor of 3.9 and then whatever we got I'm just this is just a representation of it doesn't mean it's accurate that green line would be my F right whatever that looks like um, okay and and it probably I shouldn't draw that way I'm drawing it as if it is parallel but really it's going to be steeper right because X isn't changing just Y is changing so my slope should be steeper, right? Because again, slope is equal to the change in y over the change in x. I've just impacted my y by 3.9, but I have not impacted my x at all. So this, one, this green line should actually be a lot steeper than e. So there's my f. Okay, so then it says, which of the following could be an equation of a line of best fit for data set f? All right, so data set f... So I'm going to do it all in comparison to data set E. So data set E has a y-intercept. Again, because I'm looking at lines, I'm thinking about y equals mx plus b. And for me, it's going to be easier to visually spot where my b should be now versus where it is now. So right now, it looks like it's at around 12. And if I were to multiply by 3.9 then it should be, you know, 12 times 4 is 48. So 12 times 3.9 should be a little less than 48. So actually my green line, let me erase all this, should actually be up around here for the y-intercept. And I can go back to my answer choices and see that choices C and D both have 12 as the y-intercept. So that's why they're gone, right? 12 was the y-intercept for line E. We care about line F, so those two are gone. All right, and then how about my slope? How will my slope change? Well, my slope from line E, let's see if I can find two good points to determine a slope. Uh, I like points that are right on grid intersecting lines. So that one and that one. Looks like I am at 15 here, and I'd be rising up to 40. So that's going up. 25 units and then it looks like I'm at 2 here for my x value and I'm running over to 18 so that's a run of 16 and maybe I should have used a different color right so I went up 25 and I ran 16 so again slope is the change in y so for me so our slope our change in y for e at least was 25 our change in x was 16 um, as a decimal, 25 divided by 16 is 1.562, basically. I'm getting like 1.6, basically. And for choice B, I still have, or have something close enough, 1.5 as my slope here. But I know that this number on top is going to change, right? Because I know that my Y value, my change in Y is going to be, I know that my change in Y is going to be impacted by a factor of 3.9. So... B has to be gone, right? There's no chance that the slope is the same. It has to be larger. So choice A has to be the correct answer here.